Hello dear students, again architect Carlos Eduardo Gamboa is talking to you in this new tutorial. We're going to talk about the components of AutoCAD's interface. So the first thing we have to do is double click on AutoCAD's 2018 icon. This is the first picture you get when you start the program. On another tutorial we're going to show how to start a new drawing and all the specific things you need to know about it but for now we're going to describe the main aspect and the main components of uh, the uh, AutoCAD's interface. We have two sections, one section to create new projects and another section to learn from different uh, examples and videos or another tutorials where you could get some information about different activities. We're gonna get concentrate on create new projects. Some components are available while you don't have a new drawing open, components done. That's why I'm going to show you this first menu. It's a drop down menu. This application menu has different components. We have the white sheet to create the new project or a new drawing, the open options, the DWG convert, we have the recover options, we can repair a damaged drawing file or we can open the drawing recovery manager which recover any drawing who was uh, closed unexpectedly from an AutoCAD failure or a system failure. We have the recent documents. And please notice that when we start a new drawing, we find on this app menu more options. We have uh, new options like save, save as. We can import and export documents, publish, print, we have uh, drawing utilities like recover, open drawing recovery manager and other options which are available with the new drawing. And the close option that close the current drawing or all drawings we have open. We have the options button which opens the options for from the program. We're gonna do another tutorial explaining any other tab we have in these options. Okay. When we open a new file or a new drawing, we have these tabs. We can add or create new drawings clicking on this icon and we can navigate between tabs just by clicking on the tabs we have. Here we have is a quick access bar where we can find different buttons which allow us to open a new project, open different projects you already have, save, print, undo action, redo action, and configure new buttons on this bar. Like when we check this title, patch plot, Notice that it creates a new icon on the quick bar axis. So we can uh, uncheck and it disappears from the bar. Here we have the search bar where we can type a keyword or a phrase. Let's type uh, just a word like line. And when you hit or press enter, it automatically shows you any action or command which are related to the word or phrase that you typed on the search bar. You have uh, different options. This is an option that you have. Uh, it's a library online, which is available once you have downloaded the program. Uh, there is another option where you can use this library without have uh, uh, an internet connection. We also have this tab where you can see if you are signed in to the AutoCAD's account. But for now, we're not going to worry about this. We have 
uh, the main ribbon where are located all the commands of the program. This is the core of AutoCAD's interface. Here we have the main tabs from the program. So we have Home, which shows you the main commands we use on 2D. We have Insert for insert objects, drawings, and different kind of files. Annotate, Parametric, View Options, Manage, to administrate some things from the program. Output, so we can plot and export different kind of uh, versions of your drawing. Add-ins, if, if you want to upload a new app. The A360, the Express Tools, and future apps. We can also add more tabs by clicking on the bar or on the ribbon so you can put the mouse on this option show tabs we can add like um, let's say visualize new tab and you check that uh, there is uploaded this new tab we can also uncheck these tabs let's say we're gonna uncheck add-ins and we're gonna uncheck the A360 we're gonna uncheck the visualize tab and as you can see the tab disappears from the ribbon each tab contains different panels like draw modify annotation layers this is one of the most important uh, panels we're gonna make a, a whole tutorial about it later blocks properties groups utilities clipboard to cut and paste objects view and any other tab you want also you can uh, add, add new panels by clicking on the ribbon with a right button uh, selecting the show panel options and as you can see or are loaded so let's unload or uncheck the view option as you can see it disappears from the ribbon we can remember right click from the mouse show panel option let's say uh, we're gonna uncheck utilities and as you can see it disappears from the ribbon each panel has its own command it shows you the main commands, of the most used commands, but if you deploy this drop down menu, you can see another commands which are not shown on the panel. Each command also has, has its drop down menu and it shows you the options each command has. So, this is the main core about the main ribbon where you can use the main commands and the buttons to activate the commands. In AutoCAD. This black screen it is called model space but it also is called the viewport which is your workspace for the drawing. This is one of the most important components of the interface. This is the command line. The command line is the object that allows you to communicate with the program. It shows you the options of each command you are using. Let's say we click on the line command, we start drawing, and as you can see, it shows you the options, so it communicates with you, and you can uh, choose options and type different options of any, co of any command. This is a very important component with the keyboard key F2, we can deploy this screen so you can check all the steps you have uh, done since the drawing was open until the last step you have done and uh, we have we are going to have we are going to do an, a special tutorial to explain more about this very important component here we have uh, these tabs 
This is the model space tab. This is the layout tab or called uh, paper space tab. You can switch between paper space and model space and navigate between paper space. We can add new paper space with this symbol. So this is how we navigate through the model space or paper space with this. Basically, we are going to stay on model space. Here we have the status bar where you can uh, activate or deactivate different components uh, to draw on AutoCAD. So let's say we hit on this component. L let's get the green on, the grid on. And as you can see, when I click on the icon, it turns blue, which indicates that the grid is activated. Let's deactivate the grid. And we have different options like um, restrict cursor to different angles with these buttons. We have the snaps options, the gizmos and the gibs. We have uh, the scale annotation and the scales are shown. Here's a very important component which is the workspace switch. So you can switch between workspaces. Let's switch to 3D basics and it shows you all the commands that are used on the 3D operations. We can use 3D modeling and it shows you different commands and different tabs and different panels that are related to the 3D modeling activities. Let's back to drafting an annotation which is the workspace we are going to work on. You can add more actions or tabs to the status bar by click on the customization button and then we can check more actions or menus like let's say um, transparency. As you can see it's activated if I click on the button it deactivates get activated again and if you want uh, remove it from the status bar you can uncheck the title we also have the navigation bar where are located uh, different zoom options like the pan which allows you to move the draw the uh, zoom extends which maximize the any drawing or any draw you have to the whole screen the 3d orbit command which allows you to navigate free on a 3d view and we have also the view cube navigator where you can get a top view if you click on these arrows you can you can uh, turn around the view. If you click on this icon, you can change the view to the front or the left. Again, the top. If you click on the corner, you could get an isometric view. So let's back to the top view. Here we can find the X, Y coordinates and with this button we can uh, set a new origin or a new X, Y coordinates. Let's hit escape keyboard key and for now those are the main components of the AutoCAD's interface. So. I hope this information be helpful for you and we'll meet again on another tutorial. So bye. Universidad Santo Tomás, institución sujeta a inspección y vigilancia por el Ministerio de Educación Nacional.